Hi guys, Don Rice here, and we're looking at the completed female mold um, for the canopy on the Zeroli Corsair. And I, I, I only give this particular mold about maybe a 10% chance of being usable. And uh, the, the main reason for that is because I've never used this material before. This is Ultra Cal 30. And, uh, the, the, and the first layer of this that I put on, uh, I, I made a little bit on the not too runny side because of all the vertical sides here. I figured it would just keep running off. So I made it um, just a very very little bit runny kind of like a thick mayonnaise and uh, and my concern is that there's going to be air bubbles under here which will not be not be a good thing although I suppose it's possible I might be able to fill them if they're minor enough uh, the other thing that I'm concerned about is this this edge back here was um, defined by uh, the canopy sliders which go up to about right there I had blocked off maybe I don't know a half inch of the canopy slider groove uh, in order to make room for uh, the ultra cal to go on my concern is that the actual canopy on the real Corsair comes back to about here and that doesn't leave much room for uh, me to arrange this in such a way that I will end up with uh, the final plug needs to have uh, either at worst case um, a, a 90 degree angle here to um, the base plate so that uh, when they pull the the vacuum plastic canopy over the plug it needs to be able to come back off the plug well I can't do that when it, we've got this uh, negative undercut kind of shape that's in here right now so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to remove stuff here this is a, a dam I put on on the front side and because I expect this to be an unsuccessful attempt I am hoping to get this thing off of here without having to bust off uh, these wooden MDF uh, dams that I put here uh, because then I'll have to put them on again and that was a bit of a pain in the ass so we'll see if I can get it off without too much trouble The other thing here is that um, because this fuselage, the plug for for this particular thing is is actually um, my fuselage, I have to be reasonably careful um, in uh, the opening up process here because uh, obviously I don't want to do damage to my fuselage. Obviously, damage is relative. And pretty much anything we do can be undone or redone. It's actually already um, moving on this uh, MDF plate, so it's broken loose from there already. I think one of the nice things about using my fuselage is that the fuselage itself is reason of well I mean semi flexible sort of so I might be able to yeah I can push in here and create an opening for air to go underneath uh, the the female mold here 
Up oh, there it is. Pallet already moved. All right. Well, that was easier than I expected. <laughs> I didn't sleep all that well last night because I was thinking about this all night long. All right. Well, son of a bitch. That turned out... Huh. That turned out pretty good. Alright, let's see what we can see. different light. Hold on. Okay. So what I'm seeing in here right there those are a couple of little air bubbles now that may not be that big of a deal because ultimately bubbles uh, bubbles in this mold will cause bumples in the male mold and bumples can be easily smoothed off with a uh, little 400 sandpaper. Hmm. Okay. Can't believe how easily that popped off the airplane. Wow. No damage to the plane at all. Alright, I'm going to have to do some measurements to find out if I went far enough, far enough aft. I really don't think I did. Um, I didn't realize that until it was too late in the process, but um, I'll do some measuring and uh, hope for the best. I might try and pop a male mold out of this one anyway, just for the fun of it. And because, uh, you know, I got a buttload of Ultra Count. And so it might not be a bad idea to use this anyway, uh, just for practice. And to find out just how it turns out in terms of, you know, things like these, um, these, tiny little air bubbles that are in here you know they're not optimum I'm not really sure how to fill them in this kind of material uh, so anyway I'm pretty happy with that as a first attempt it may not be usable it might be usable still to be determined but this Ultra Cal 30 worked out pretty good this thing is probably weighing in right now at about I'm gonna call this about five pounds Alright, I'll set up for the next step and talk at you later.